In this video, we'll show you how to view AP data and metrics in the Ruckus One network management platform. Whether troubleshooting an AP or tracking SLAs, Ruckus One makes it easy to view data and metrics for the access points that you've created in your account. The access point list screen is accessible by expanding the devices tile on the dashboard and also by hovering over the Wi-Fi option in the main menu and clicking access point list. Depending on how long your list is, you may want to search or otherwise group the list of APs. Clicking directly on a specific AP name takes you to the AP's Overview tab, providing a single pane of glass view of AP-specific alarms and incidents, connection and throughput data and metrics, properties and settings. Notice the Time Range button, where you can modify the view from last 24 hours to last 7 days, last 30 days, or even a custom date or time range. Be aware that this setting is applied to the data on all tabs on the Access Points screen. You can also perform actions like rebooting an AP, downloading AP logs, blinking the LEDs to help locate the AP at a physical venue, deleting the AP, or configuring the AP settings. Reboot and delete actions require confirmation or cancellation, so these actions can't be performed by accident. The overview page provides a quick view of alarms, incidents, connection and throughput metrics. Each of these data are clickable hyperlinks, unless there's no alarms or incidents. Clicking on connection success, Time to Connect and Client Throughput take you to the AP's AI Analytics Health tab, which we'll discuss in a couple minutes. A default photo of the AP model is shown, and you can upload your own AP photo as well. Perhaps you want to show the AP's physical placement at a venue. You can see the AP in a cloud topology view, as well as see its physical placement on a venue floor plan, if one's been uploaded. In both cases, the AP is color-coded for quick visual indication of status. For example, green for operational. The AP Properties tile provides a quick view of the associated venue, uptime, and radio band information. Clicking More expands this tile to show the AP's detailed properties, such as serial number, MAC and IP addresses, and firmware version, as well as settings for the AP's radios and LAN ports. Scrolling down the page, you'll see individual tiles dedicated to popular AP-specific metrics, including traffic volume, number of clients, radio band usage, top five applications by traffic, top five SSIDs by traffic, and by client count. Note that the bar graphs are interactive in that you can hover over any data point and see a breakdown of all information for that specific point in time. Other information pertaining to the selected AP is displayed across the remaining tabs. AI analytics, troubleshooting, reports, networks, Clients, and Timeline, which we'll briefly explore. AI Analytics includes an Incidents tab that allows you to drill down into specific incident details to obtain insights and recommended action, aiding you in AP-specific troubleshooting. The Health tab provides a quick view of connection stats. Note that these tiles are expandable for more detail. A bar graph showing new and connected clients, followed by AP connection performance and infrastructure metrics presented in interactive bar graphs, all aiding you in management of AP-specific service level assurance goals and thresholds. Note that you can see how different SLA thresholds change the SLA goal percentage by using the slide bar. You can apply the new settings or reset back to the default setting. The Troubleshooting tab provides ping, traceroute, 
and packet capture tools used to capture real-time data regarding AP connectivity and latency. The Reports tab provides a quick view of this AP's traffic, SSID count, client count, and SNR data, as well as uptime history. Scrolling down the page, you can view numerous reports. The bar graph and pie charts are interactive, allowing you to hover for data at a specific date and time. The Networks tab provides a list showing every network that this access point is associated with, including the network type and VLAN. From here, you can drill down into each network, same as if you had navigated to the Wi-Fi networks list via the Ruckus One menu bar. The Clients tab provides a view of clients currently connected to this access point. The search field allows you to search on specific clients, including historical connections based on client MAC, username, or hostname. The hot links allow you to drill down into detailed information for that category, such as hostname, venue, device, and network. For example, clicking the hostname takes you to the Clients, Wireless Clients list option on the Ruckus One menu bar, and clicking the Venue takes you to that specific venue page in the Venues menu option. The Timeline tab provides a quick view of all activities and events associated with this access point. Activities can be filtered by status, allowing you to focus on a particular subset, such as failed activities. To aid in troubleshooting, events can also be filtered to help you focus on a specific severity and type. And that brings us to the end of this video on viewing access point data and metrics in the Ruckus One Network Management Platform.